you guys, I wanted to review three amazing setups for the rear uppercut. The first is the shoulder roll, right where your chin is. The exact same point in space that the other fighter is going for, you're gonna replace that with your shoulder. Make a little roll with your rear hand, a little circle about the size of a, an apple or a little bigger, about the size of a grapefruit. And then cork that up for a nice long Muay Thai uppercut. Again, blocking with the shoulder. It's not this type of block, but you can incorporate that as well. We're literally just gonna block with the shoulder and cork with the rear hand. Second kind is the peekaboo, Mike Tyson, slipping and ripping, literally just moving your head out of the way and throwing the uppercut. This is gonna be real hard to land if you don't use head feints, if you don't have some other punches to close the distance, or if you're not moving the head in diagonally, which we call dipping. So we have the shoulder roll, long uppercut, the Mike Tyson slip and rip, and what Freddie Roach and Andy Nance taught me, the classic range boxing, which is the block between, uh, the block for an overhand shot. Grab the top of your head, drop down a little bit, and just shoot straight up. So three rear uppercuts to practice. The shoulder roll, long uppercut, the Mike Tyson, slip and rip, and the block and hit, the Andy Nance Freddie Roach.